there, Wildcat parents. It is October, and it is time for another informative message from Miss Skeggs and myself. <laughs> All right, so we have a lot of events coming up this month in October, and so we want to specifically talk to you about three big events, which have all been in the Wildcat Weekly newsletter. So make sure if you're not reading that on your seesaw or through your text that you're jumping on and reading it because that's where we put all of our important information. So the first event I want to talk to you about is something called Safe Training. So Safe Training is happening this week. Yes. It's happening Thursday at 6 p.m. at Flynn in their auditorium. And so Safe Training is going to be provided by a Winnebago County officer and he is going to come and he's going to teach adults how to be safe in our community. He actually did this for the Neighborhood Association a few months ago and I attended that and it was amazing. Oh, good. Yeah. Is this having my kids and they can learn how to say safe? No, no, no. This oh. is definitely an adult only event. There are triggers that might make children scared. It might make them anxious. So please do not bring your kiddos. This is an adult only event where you are going to learn how to stay safe, how to stay alert, and how to make sure that you can be out in our community and have the resources you need to be safe and be around for a really long time. That sounds like an amazing resource. Yeah, it was a really good training, boys and girls. Oh, boys and girls. See, I'm like, see, these are moms and dads. I know, moms and dads. I'm used to recording for our kiddos. So moms and dads, guardians, caregivers, this is an excellent training for you to be a part of. Um, it just made me feel better about being out there in the world as a woman specifically. Let's do it. I know, somebody must be thinking of me. Um, so I have a little bit of a lighter topic to talk about. <laughs> As you know, if you've been around what, Whitehead for a while, we don't celebrate Halloween here no. because there are many families who just don't celebrate it for one reason or another. So as a family, we do not. However, this year we've decided to do something a little bit different and fun to kind of give a nod to that tradition. We are going to have a Minions Dress Up Day. Yes. On October 31st. So we are encouraging all of our students to wear jeans or blue pants on that day and a yellow shirt, any kind of yellow shirt. Yep. And Mrs. Randall has purchased Minion uh, paper goggles. Yes for all of the kids to wear so that we can all have one giant group contest. And then we will have one staff member dressed up as Gru to lead our minions around. Yes, it's going to be fantastic, parents. We are going to take a whole school picture. Um, we're just really excited. We always have a theme for our staff, and this year it's minions, and so we thought, why not get the kids involved? Right. We're not asking you to go out and buy anything special. No, 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 no. If you no, don't no. have any, a yellow shirt, that's fine. We're just wanting to do something a little bit different this year, a little bit fun on Halloween. Absolutely. So if you choose not to participate, that is 100% fine. Just make sure you wear your uniform that day. But if you would like to participate, we're asking for blue bottoms of some sort and a yellow top of some sort. Gonna I be think fun. We have another fun event to talk about. I do, and that fun event is also happening this week. We've got a lot going on this week. Boys and girls, families, caregivers, all the people. This Friday night at 7 p.m. is the Ice Hogs Night sponsored by Is a Bindi. All right, families, if you have not purchased your tickets for your Ice Hogs game this coming Friday at 7 p.m., hop on my weekly review, click on that link, and purchase those tickets. They are really good price. They are really a good price. Isn't there something special that I could get if I order tickets? Yes. The first 40 people to order tickets will be able to give high fives to the players when they come back out on the ice after halftime. And Hammy's going to come say hi to our whole group. There's no halftime in hockey. Well, what's it called when they... Well, they have three periods. So after the intermission between periods. It's really not a halftime. <laughs> I clearly don't understand hockey, but I will be attending with my family because it's a fun night. So at some point in a break, you're going to go give high fives to the players. I really thought there was a halftime. 
There's two in here. Oh, okay. Well, during one of them, they'll make an announcement. <laughs> but it's going to be really fun, boys and girls and families. You can wear your ice hockey apparel. You can wear your house apparel. And you can come on out for some dirt cheap tickets and cheer the ice hogs on with your whitehead family. That sounds like a lot of fun. I wish yeah, I could be there. I'm super excited. I'm super excited. I don't understand hockey, but I get excited. They pluck pucks fly in places, and I'm like, that must be a great. <laughs> Go I talk. You guys, come up, if nothing else, just to watch Mrs. Randall get excited about something she knows nothing about. Exactly, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, family. So it was great chatting with you. If you have questions, as always, make sure to call the front office or check that Randall Review weekly wildcat update, whatever we're calling it these days, and you'll be well-kept informed. Have a wonderful evening. Bye. Bye.